Dale Reynolds Gaming, racing excellence. Well, hello everybody, my name is Dale Reynolds. I sincerely thank you all for welcoming me back once again into your lives for another NASCAR Thunder 2004 Rookie Championship Career Season Mode Challenge Shindig Thingy. That's right, where fantasy becomes reality and the possible and the impossible meet to become the possible. Thank you all very much for joining me. In the last video, I cut a promo better than Roman Reigns. That's right, y'all need to go check that out dominated and won the coke no, excuse me dominated and won the uawgm quality 500 from lowe's that was the last video you need to go back and watch it because i cut a promo cm punk pipe bomb worthy of that on everybody else but go back and watch that's okay i'll wait go back and watch Good? Okay, so here we are, race 32 of 36. We're coming to nut cutting time here. At the end of the season, we're going to be doing the Subway 500 from the Martinsville inter uh, Martinsville Speedway. Here is the gameplay things. Legend difficulty, 10% race length, and no assists. Again, proving it. Nothing is better than actually seeing it because, you know, it helps the credibility a little bit. Um, catching everybody back up, 100 happiness on all my sponsors, and 94 prestige on Advanced Auto, 70 happiness, 94 prestige in Outback, and 72 happiness, 93 prestige on Coca-Cola. All my team is 100 happiness, I like that. We got one race left on the engine body and chassis being overhauled, and we got five races left on new engine body and chassis being built up from the ground. And uh, Shock Dino, one race left on the Shock Dino, so that's exactly where we stand right now. Once again, a big shout out and a big thank you to KCAL Gaming. This is the final paint scheme for KCAL in this career mode. So, one big thank you, KCAL. Big thank you very much for painting a car up and, and sending it in and for being a part of this legendary challenge that we are doing here in NASCAR Thunder 2004. It is a Chevy wave scheme, 83 with the standard numbers. Got that fluorescent yellow on the side with the white on the roof. And once again, hopefully we can bring KCOW another victory here in this playthrough as we head to Martinsville now for race 32 of 36. For those of you that are playing along and want to keep track of everything, for those of you who I haven't turned away after the last video, for those of you that I have not managed to offend yet, I will get to you shortly. But those of you that are still sticking around and cared to know, the car rating is a 62. Let's go to Martinsville. All right, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Redneck Jesus is on the pole. Let me show you guys the car setup that we will be using here at Martinsville this time around. And again, not any different from what it was in the spring. Just a minor tweak to the suspension is all. You guys see manual transmission. 17 PSI on the tire pressure, 75 inches on the front fender flare, and 65 degrees on the rear spoiler. The slight difference is that we ran 40-40 in the spring. We're going to run 45-45 this time around. A little bit stiffer suspension all the way around with a negative 1.0 on the wedge. And the gear ratio is once again custom. We've got a 600 rear end. And the only change that I made from the spring, first gear is still a 220. Second gear is a 150. Third gear is a 115. And the fourth gear has been extended a little bit to a .95 instead of a .97. Um, just a little bit more oomph down the straightaways that we need because we've got a little bit more horsepower, a little more torque, a little bit better handling than we got here in the spring. So that is the car set up. Ladies and gentlemen, please feel free to let me know if you like it, if you don't like it. If you're playing along with me trying to attempt this challenge, I welcome you to use that setup. Let's go qualifying here at Martinsville. Yes, I will be shifting here once again. Qualifying pole run on the first lap. Let me show you guys the second lap here real quick, show you guys what I'm doing. And again, shifting here and qualifying, I don't intend on shifting during the race all that much, but like I said, it is there for you if you need it. Coming off the last corner, let's see where we get for time. At a 19.46, we are on the pole! Why? I beat the field by three tenths. That is great. Awesome. This car setup, I am not changing it. Ladies and gentlemen, 
See if we can't get win number 15 here. Maybe. Because it's still going to be a little bit of a struggle. The car is still not that great. Martinsville, Bristol uh, relies a lot on the tire grip and the grip provided by the chassis. Um, again, playing the Christian Fittipaldi glitch or the Ward-Burton glitch or whomever glitch, trying to trap half the field of lap down, that's what we're going to be doing in this race. Hopefully we can come away with the win, but ideally a good finish would be very good here. Ideally, a good finish here is the target by playing that Christian Fittipaldi fit apology glitch. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing here at Martinsville. The 83 car is always starting in the front of the field at the short tracks, it seems. And hey, that's the best way to keep from being lapped at these short tracks. Start up front and then stay up front. But that's easier said than done. Forty-three Winsicott engines fire here at Martinsville. How about the Dale and Dale show again? Except it's Dale Reynolds and Redneck Jesus on the front row. Dale Jarrett starting a little bit further back of the pack, which is kind of crazy if you consider it. Knowing EA Sports and how they want to just keep Dale Jarrett on my bumper as much as possible. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, K Cow. Let's see if we can get K Cow another win here in this playthrough. Going racing at Martinsville. And once again, we're going to get beat right here on the initial start. Ooh, car's a little loose going into turn one. Especially having to take that shallow entry with Gordon Dore outside. Junior's going to lead the first lap. I'm going to turn my mirror on because uh, I feel like these guys are going to absolutely just run me over going into these corners. Like Tony Stewart there. Try, but try not to run over Ricky Rudd. Damn, already back to fifth. Son of a bitch. But then again, again, I knew we weren't going to be able to stay up in the lead very long. Kurt Busch trying to knock me out. Because this is all about the mechanicals right here. The mechanical grip. We don't have that. The car is still only a 62 rating. But again, trying to stay as close as possible to the front. Play that uh, Christian Fittipaldi glitch. And, and lock half the field of lap down and come away with a decent finish anyway. So... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to hold this top five down. Woo, Kurt. Must have been fed up with running behind me. He drove into turn one like it was nuts. These nuts. Oh, Jarrett. Dale Jarrett giving me the bumper. Move. Get out the way. And knocking me up out of the way for that sixth spot. Damn you, Dale Jarrett. Racing me for the freaking... I, I bet you that's probably, he probably figures he's, the only chance he's got to try and get this championship away from me is to try and wreck me here at Mortonsville. Tried to crash this three or four times in the first 20 laps and couldn't get it done. So, uh, you know, I guess that was, he thought that was his only shot at, at beating us today. Ooh, contact with Kenzit. Fuck me, it's going to knock me up the track even more. Losing more time, more spots. Rusty, give me a fucking lane here, dude, will you? Trying to sneak back under Harvick. Damn it. Back to 10. Just trying to settle in and get a settle in, get a rhythm, and let Christian Fittipaldi fuck things up. Car seems to be coming in pretty decent here. 14 laps into this tire run, getting deeper and deeper into this tire run, fuel run. Car seems to be coming in pretty decently. Once again, you guys will notice that you guys will get a nasty jump on them. Off the corner, it's just trying to beat them into the corner. It's tough because they will overdrive and they will knock you out of the way, as already evidenced. So, riding around in 11, just trying to maintain decent pace here. And once again, trying to let Christian Fittipaldi fuck shit up. Alright, pit sequence is happening. Trying to keep my eye out as best as possible for Christian Fittipaldi and for Ward Burton. Hopefully they will screw up and the caution will come out and we can trap half the field of lap down. And there it is. The caution is out. 
on lap 25, and I am going to keep Ricky Rudd behind me, hopefully. Damn, this car is not turning. What the hell is wrong with this thing? Why was it not turning? And Dale Jarrett again. I managed to run into him. The caution is out. And it's not even the Christian Fittipaldi glitch. It's Kevin LePage, of all things, of all people, who know how to fuck shit up coming into and out of pit road. Kevin LePage. There's 40 other guys up there trying to spot these things, and uh, they couldn't see me coming out of the pits with this red and yellow race car. Uh, then maybe they need to get new spotters. Jeff Burton forces Kevin LePage into the pit barrier. Caution is out. It doesn't matter. We are going to lock in a decent finish here at Martinsville. So, yes, I will gladly pit. We'll re I'm going to repair the damage here and no adjustments. Let's pit right here. Pit crew, do your job. All right, decent stop by the boys right there. Fixed up that damage pretty good. 17-1, I think it was. Not bad. At least we're still in the lead lap here. There's the pit summary. So Tony Stewart, Redneck Jesus, Jeff Gordon, Matt Kenseth, Elliot Sadler. What a good run for Elliot Sadler here. As we get ready to restart here in Martinsville, green flag is out. And, hey, we're back at 11th, right where we were. But this time, we got lap cars that I'm going to try and use to get around people here. Ooh! Going for it, baby. Going for it. 20 laps to go. Oh, 20 to go in Martinsville. They'll pay attention. A lot of slow cars up here. They'll be breaking early up to eighth. Past Elliott Sadler. Everybody's in a line here. Run right to the back of Kenseth. <laughs> up to seventh. Automatically running better than we were when we came into pit lane. This is awesome. So Kenseth's not very happy with me. Jarrett is not very happy with me. Making some enemies here at Martinsville, but that's okay. I don't care. As long as I get a solid finish and can hopefully, maybe in the next race, lock up this championship here in my rookie season in career mode. That would be awesome. Ah. A little loose going in, trying to get around Ricky Craven here. Going to try and throttle up, get around here. Here we go up to, well, we're still in seventh, but at least we moved past Ricky Craven. It's one less car we have to get around. I believe next person in line is Rusty Wallace. He is two cars, three cars ahead of me. Getting passed by Jimmy Johnson right now. See if I can maybe get up there and maybe give Wallace a run for my money. Seem to have just settled in right now. Robbie Gordon is behind me. They seem to have just kind of settled into a rhythm right now. Hopefully uh, we can, hopefully some of these guys up here could, will pit and we can gain some more spots. And it looks that way. We got some cars pitting here. They look like lap cars, but people are pitting up to six. Come on, let me get one more spot. Let me get this top five, man. Let me get a top five. Got more cars headed down pit lane here. Up to fifth. All right. Nice. There's a top five. And the caution is out again. Oh, that's very interesting. I think somebody maybe dropped some debris somewhere. I don't see anything out on the track. Let's see what this is for. Let's see what this is about real quick. Oh, there's, there's the Christian Fittipaldi glitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, the Christian Fittipaldi glitch happened. It just happened on lap 41 and not like lap 25. Interesting. So the caution is out and the field is bunched back up once again. I will not pit here. Here's the point standings. 519 as we run over Dale Jarrett. Currently running in the top five right now. That did not end the race. However, we have five, we only have five laps to go now. 
I'm going to do what I can to try and hold off Robbie Gordon because I do want to try and get this, at least keep a top five here. At least keep K-Cow happy and walk away with a top five in his final race with his paint scheme. Uh, there's nothing I'm going to be able to do here with these front four. They are just way too fast. So, it's going to try to hold it down here in the top five. Come home with a good finish. That's right. I'm shifting here. White flag. One more lap to go. I've been shifting this entire last five laps here at Martinsville. I'm just preventing Robbie Gordon from getting to my rear bumper. I don't know who's won the race. I think it's Tony Stewart. We're going to come home P5 here at Martinsville. A good, solid run. Tony Stewart, Redneck Jesus, Rusty Wallace, Jeff Gordon, and yours truly in the top five. All right, so Dale Jarrett, Matt Kensett, those guys got a little upset at me. Dale Jarrett ran me over going to turn one, so that's his own fucking fault. But Matt Kensett, yeah, we got together a couple times. So those guys got made, made some rivals in this race. Um, made some rivals. That's okay, though. Nothing too major. $9.02 million in the bank after Martinsville. More EA Sports bio accomplishments. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Taking a look at point standings here at Mar after Martinsville. It is a 525-point gap over Dale O.P. Jarrett. 525 points. Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, and Redneck Jesus in the top five here with Ryan Newman, Mark Martin, Bobby Labonte, Kevin Harvick, and Jimmy Johnson rounding out the top ten. Let me do some quick math real quick. So after my quick math, I have 525 points over Dale Jarrett. It's over three races. We have four races left. So looking at the point standings, if I finish 35th or better with no laps led at Atlanta, I clinch the championship after Atlanta. If I finish 36th with 5 bonus points for leading a lap, I still clinch the championship. Or if I somehow lead the most laps and finish 38th, I still clinch the championship. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to just go out there. We, I'm not even going to do that. I'm not even going to be consistent. I'm not even going to go out there and play it safe. I want to go out there and win the damn race. That's exactly what I want to do. But that's pretty much what it is. If Dale Jarrett were to win at Atlanta, all we need to do is finish 35th or better with no laps led, 36th with five, with five bonus points, meaning one lap led, or 38th with the most laps led, and we clinch the championship and our rookie season in career mode. How awesome is that? How freaking awesome is that? Sponsorship, 94 Prestige, 100 Happiness on everything, 94 Prestige on Outback, and 93 Prestige on Coca-Cola. So, team members all still 100 Happiness, that's fantastic. I get fresh equipment for this Atlanta race, so gladly I will go ahead and overhaul Take a look at that that change there with the tire grip. I like that. That's adding with the shock dyno. That is definitely done now. So we'll overhaul the chassis. We're going to overhaul the engine. Actually, it's not even worth it to overhaul the engine. We're just going to repair the engine. Screw it. $89,000 to repair the engine. And then overhauling the body for $192,000. So we get fresh fit equipment at, for Atlanta, which is great. The shock dyno is done being added, so now we're going to add the engine dyno. Even though we're not going to have any use for it in this challenge, I'm going to go ahead and add it anyways, like I said, just in case if I want to come back to this career mode and, and keep playing it. Six races for the engine dyno, and this allows building track-specific engine and the engine power will go up plus 10. Absolutely, I will absolutely do that. Once again, a big shout out and a big thank you to KCAL Gaming. Thank you very much for submitting your paint scheme. I hope I did you justice. I hope you enjoyed seeing your four paint schemes out there on the track. Hopefully we did you some justice. I thank you very, very much for your paint scheme. And once again, I thank every single one of you for tuning in and watching. My name is Dale Reynolds. Thank you for welcoming me into your lives for another video. If you like what you saw, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell next subscribe button so you get notified anytime I put up a career mode playthrough in NASCAR 2004 or otherwise. Hopefully you're having a great day. Hopefully my video adds to your great day. Hopefully it gave you some laughs and hopefully gave you a good time. Distracted you a little bit from the big red, white, and blue dick that's being shoved up your ass every day when you work or go to school. What the fuck? That escalated quickly. That's right. I said it. No shame. Changed my mind. 
I end my videos so be safe, have fun. I will see you guys on the next video, which will be taking place at race 33 and 36 for the Georgia 500 from the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Hopefully, we don't really screw up and we clinch the championship in the next video. Until then, I'm out of here, guys. Have a great ass day. Deuces. Make, 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 make the ground shake.